Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to enable personalizations and memorizations in Microsoft Copilot. That's right, AI is evolving and Copilot has jumped on the bandwagon of allowing you to personalize your chatbot so that it remembers more about you. When AI chatbots came out, in 2022 and 2023, you had to create prompts about yourself and include what things you like to do. Well, those days are no longer around because Microsoft Copilot allows you to personalize your chatbot. And one of the easiest things is, is that it's already built in. Now, some chatbots you have to work a little harder at, others you can work easier with, but with Copilot, it works with you. So let's talk about what personalization is. So personalization means that Copilot is designed to automatically keep track of all of your conversations within the chatbot, meaning that if you are a technology expert like myself, that all of the conversations that I have, Copilot is going to remember those conversations. And the good thing about it is, is that if I talk on a specific topic, then it will remember that we've had that conversation and it will help craft whatever I want to bring out of Microsoft Copilot. Now, before we get into that feature about Copilot, let's take a look at Copilot and find out a little about the actual chatbot because many of you are on the chat GPT wagon and it's time that you learned a little about Microsoft Copilot. So Microsoft Copilot came out in February of 2023 to compete against ChatGPT created with OpenAI. In reality, Microsoft Copilot is actually ChatGPT in disguise. It uses the same large language model or a similar large language model. And Microsoft is actually one of the major contributors to OpenAI who generated ChatGPT. So part of that deal was for Microsoft to allow you to, or allow, well, let me go back. So part of that deal was Microsoft wanted that ChatGPT technology. And so we have Microsoft Copilot. Now I had a real great love affair of Copilot because it did a lot of things. But in October of 2024, it changed this interface from one that looked similar to ChatGPT to the one that we're looking at now. Now, as you know, AI chatbots are constantly changing. So a couple of weeks ago, Microsoft made me fall in love with Copilot again, and they enabled what I would call the ChatGPT interface, which now, rather than just going to this, hey, Burden, how are you? And even worse, let me show you this. If you clicked on the Copilot, Copilot actually came up with, hey, Burton, it's great to see you. Gave you Copilot Daily, which involved news, weather in my neck of the woods, and topics that it thought that I enjoyed. Well, like anyone else, I do not like the whole Microsoft infrastructure as being this nice, warm, and fuzzy news source like MSN or MSN.com. So fortunately, Microsoft is like, well, I'm sure we, or we've had a lot of complaints about the things that are going on. So let's change our interface. And so Copilot now allows you to get quick access to the side screen, which allows you the option to do your daily news and inspiration. Uh, you can go to labs where you experiment with features in AI. And finally, my favorite feature with Copilot is the fact that it brings back conversations of past prompts that I've had, which in my opinion are very important when it comes to your AI chatbot, because if you don't have access to your prompt history, you're not going to be able to see a lot of conversations that you may have had with AI. Now, unfortunately, Copilot does not allow you to pin 
these prompt histories so that you can modify them. The only thing you can do with prompt history and copilot is to share your prompt with someone else, or you can delete that prompt. Can't rename it, but I will have to say that Microsoft Copilot does an excellent job as to making sure that your prompts are named. Now let's talk about this personalization process in Microsoft Copilot. Now with a lot of chatbots like ChatGPT, Gemini, and even Perplexity, you can fill in the blanks as far as what information you want your chatbot to uh, do. But with Microsoft Copilot, it works like this. So let me share my Copilot screen. If, and let's make sure I've got the right prompt copy. If you type in this prompt, list everything you know about me that can be used to personalize my experience. You don't wanna modify this from a quick response to a deep thinker. thinker. Leave it on quick response. Don't even have to upload a photo to modify your history. What you need to do is to go ahead and click on submit message. After a few minutes, Copilot is going to tell you, I shouldn't say minutes, seconds. Copilot's going to say, hey, this is what I've learned. Now keep in mind that this isn't going to be 100% accurate. But what, based on the information I've fed in the Copilot, which hasn't been that much within the past six months, it says that you are a leader in real estate management, which is not true. But also, IT and cybersecurity experience, that is true because I go by Burton Kelso Technology Expert. Marketing and branding skills, crafting compelling call to action, which I do use quite a bit. HR knowledge, I've talked or spoken in the HR space on IT and cybersecurity. And real estate as well, which I think is where it's pulling that, uh, not marketing and branding, but the whole property management and leadership and re re ah, real estate management. Other things like skills and strengths, precision and detail oriented, which that ain't me, but hell, I'll take it. Analytical and creative thinking. I'll take that too. Same thing with diverse interests, which is true that I have a wide variety of things that I look up on social media and AI because when I teach AI classes, I am putting all sorts of prompts in. Also, Copilot will break down your interest, engagement with technology, creative expression, because I do use a lot of image generation within Microsoft Copilot, real estate insights, diversity representation, because I've put that in there. Uh, also, recent tasks call to action headers, creating detailed images from sunny subdivisions to IT themed settings and server rooms. And then finally, or there's more, you respond well to clear actionable strategies, you get the picture. And finally, I personalize our conversations by keeping everything focused on utility, creativity, engaging exchange, et cetera, et cetera. So now Copilot ends this with, let me know if there's anything more you'd like to explore or refine. I'm here to support you in every way, which is a standard Copilot answer. So rather than putting in individual settings, Copilot is monitoring all the interactions that you have with it, so that way it can personalize your experience. You can go on further because Copilot will also give you other options such as, if I can switch back to my desktop, which, how can I leverage this information? How do my interests influence your suggestions? And then finally, what data do you use to personalize my experience? So I might be curious, curious about that. So let me go ahead and click on it and see what Copilot has to say. Personalize your experience, details, here's how it works. And then there you go. Don't access, or don't access private data outside our conversation, nor do I pull information from our sources. So for those of you that are worried about um, how it gets information, it ain't pulling it off the internet like most of you think. It's pulling it all from your interactions that you have with Copilot. So the moral of the story is, is that if you interact with Copilot, then it's going to pull in all of your information. So there you go. Now there's uh, several of you that are worried about the process of, well, I don't want my Copilot 
uh, experience personalized, which I'll have to tell you, if you're going to utilize Copilot as your Copilot AI chatbot, leave personalization on. Now, there's several ways if you're of the mindset that you want to disable Copilot personalization. Let me switch screens here and get you on how you can disable it. So let's start with the new chat, not that you have to do it, but what you want to do is go to your profile picture in the upper right hand corner. Once you click on that, you want to go to settings, wherever the heck it is. Where the heck is that? Because I was able to find it a few seconds. So what I did in this instance, and let's go back, I'm going to go to my name and my email address, click on that, and then I can modify my name or take that out. I can also go to privacy and then I can tell it Copilot to model train on text. And this is one of the reasons why people like Copilot as opposed to ChatGPT because Copilot, if you turn it off, will not model train on anything that you put up in the chat box. Same thing if you decide to use the voice option to train AI, you can leave that off. And as you can see, I don't want AI training on my stuff. Also, what you can do is turn the switch off for personalizations. If you leave it on, Copilot is going to use my chats being in any MSN activity or any inferred interest to personalize my experience. Also, if I click personalization, it will turn that feature off. So for those of you that don't want your Copilot uh, to be personalized, you can flip that switch. One other thing that you can do, going back to Microsoft Copilot, under privacy, you can also have the option to export or delete your history. Doing so will, well, once you sign into a Microsoft account, will give you the option to sign in and it will uh, get rid of your history for Microsoft Copilot. As you can see, I'm signing in so that you can see what that looks like. Wants to email me, we're not going to go through all that because I do have a code or I can verify. But if you export or delete your history in Copilot, it will wipe out all of your personalizations. Because again, your personalizations in Copilot come from the fact that it's feeding off of all of the information that you and all the interactions that you're having within that chatbot. So if you are using Copilot, Make sure that you go in and enable your personalizations. Uh, if you haven't used Microsoft Copilot, use it. Again, it is the more secure and up-to-date chatbot that is on the market, meaning that when you go and use Copilot, unlike ChatGPT where you have to enable the search the internet option, Microsoft Copilot is giving you instant access because not only is it using an internal database for its AI chat bot and large language model? It is also using the web. So you get security and you get up to date information. And again, Copilot is just exactly like ChatGPT. So, with that said, if you've got comments or questions about personalizing your Microsoft Copilot chat bot, Leave them in the comments section below. Personalization probably is going to evolve even further, but you need to know that it's here and it's available and that it is one of the features that is starting to appear in not, micro, not only Microsoft Copilot, but chatbots across the world. Now with every video that I put out there, please, if you enjoyed this video, comment, like, and share this video with people that you know out there that struggle with technology because these videos are designed mainly for people who use technology, but they need it explained in a non-technical manner. So my goal and my mission in life it, as computers and their associated components become more complex, my job is to help you get more or experience a world, a whole new world of ideas and experiences using your computers and gadgets. Um, my, I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.